about systemic racism and victim culture. It is time for the Republican Party to say enough already. It is time for us to stand in the gap for the next generation. It is time for us to not just fight, but to fight and win. I know Republicans don't do this all the time, but I got to say a couple of weeks ago, I went to the south side of Chicago. And you know what I saw there was that our inner cities are ground zero for the far left radical agenda. The far left in cities like Chicago, they have had a monopoly in these big blue cities. They have had total control, ultimate power. And what's the result? Devastation all across those big blue cities. It's the same thing they will do to the entire nation if we don't change course. Y'all know tomorrow is exactly one year from the 2024 election. We have 365 days to save America. We have a very large presidential field. We, we have some Republicans, including Ron DeSantis and Vivek, who think that America is in decline. I disagree with them. The American people are not in decline, but we are stuck in a Biden-led retreat. We are retreating from strength and safety, from law and order, from good jobs, stable prices, and energy independence. We are even retreating from God himself. And they, the far radical left, they continue to manipulate the American people by using race and class to cover their tracks. It's ridiculous what we're seeing from the radical left dividing our country for their political power. We have to stop Joe Biden's retreat, turn it around, and lead the charge. There is one thing that matters this election, and only one thing. We have to nominate a conservative who can unite our party, beat Joe Biden, and create a red wave across this nation from sea to shining sea. I'll be honest with you, I'm competing in a field with really solid Republicans. Ron DeSantis has been a strong governor. Nikki Haley, I've known her for years. I supported President Trump twice and spent four years working closely with the former president to deliver big wins. But I'm in this race for a very simple reason. We need a forward-looking, optimistic, conservative warrior who can unite our party, beat Joe Biden in a landslide, and save America. That's why I'm running. You see, I don't believe that Ron and Nikki can do that, but I will. Nikki is seeking support from moderates and the mainstream media for a simple reason. She's running as a moderate. She's leaving conservatism behind on life and social issues and key principles. She is playing in the lane of the never Trump. It won't unite our party, though. And we can't win with a moderate in 2024. As for Ron, I, I actually respect what Ron has done here in Florida. He started off as a strong, historically strong candidate with the, all the advantages. He had the hype. His allies have spent tens of millions of dollars. But the campaign has struggled. Uh, he lost almost two-thirds of his support and is still falling. Because Ron believes that the nation is in decline. Like the dark days 
are here to stay. He doesn't have a forward-looking, aspirational vision about where our country should go. And our former president, I voted for him twice. I partnered with his administration on tax cuts, the largest tax cuts in American history, a $2.4 trillion tax cut. I wrote it and he signed it. We saw the rebuilding of our military. Supreme Court justices, three Supreme Court justices that led to overturning Roe v. Wade. We put 300, we put 300 conservative judges on the bench. But our party has been underperforming in three consecutive national elections. We have to get back on offense, and that's why I know we must win. The 2024 race is just getting started. Most people are just starting to pay attention. Prime time starts right now. Unifying Republicans and beating Joe Biden will take a conservative. It will take an uplifting, inspiring leader with a vision for the future. And it will take a fresh, focused, and disciplined nominee to win in states that we've lost even as recently as 2020, states like Georgia and Nevada and Pennsylvania. We need a total focus on only beating Joe Biden, a conservative warrior who can create a red wave up and down the entire ballot. And we must win back the White House.